Right, good morning everyone. Now, um, I've got a couple of bits here this morning. So, I went into the charity shop last week and I found this. Stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. Miniature um, sitting room set. And I'm just going to share with you each piece. So we'll start with this one. This one's a telephone one with the Queen Anne legs. And look at that. 17th, 18th hundred anyway. Um, the chairs are just gorgeous. Now this is the one that I copied. When I say I copied, you know, I was doing the chair anyway, but came across these. And you see how you can put them together with the back piece on. And there's the settee. And see about extending it, the seat and the back bit. And then you can shape it however you want. And you can put the oval in, that could have been turned around the other way. There's lots of different ways. So yeah, this is for sale. Now, I did ask Judy McMurtry. Let me know, love, if you're interested, because you I know you do collect miniatures and you're making miniatures and whatever, because you buy mine that, you know, that I sell to make up. But, um, so if Judy doesn't want this, then it's for sale. So if you're interested in this, put your name in this video and I'll put you on the list and uh, it'll be the first come, first serve. So if Judy doesn't want it, it'll be the first person on the list um, that it'll be offered to. But I have to wait and see whether Judy wants it at all. And you see how they've done the um, padding bit at the back. So you can do patterns with it. It's uh, just great. Anyway, so like I say, if you want it, Judy, let me know soon as please. Because um, I can't keep hold of them. I've nowhere to house them, for one. The other, th Let me just put this to one side. Because the other thing that I had... I'm just going to pop that in there and the furniture as well. Is this. Um, there's a thing inside I want to get out. So, this box. I saw this. Um, again, this is a, a £3 box. It is a beautiful large box. It, you only have to decorate it. It's already edged and everything for you. It's a beautiful box. And it, that's what it cost me in the charity shop. I don't like seeing things go to waste or them throwing stuff out. This does come with a large ribbon, so that will go inside of it. Um, but it is, you know, I have to pay. I'm charging you what I paid. What happens is, for those who don't know me, when I go to charity shops, car boots or things like that, I pick up things that I think other people may use, craft or whatever, you know, break down or whatever. So I only charge what I get charged. I don't make anything on them sort of things because I know there's a lot of people out there don't get to a car boot, can't reach one, no access to one or a charity shop and why should they miss out? So, but you do have to be quick so if you do want it, it's a beautiful large, I think it's a 8, maybe 10 inch, oh 8 inch, I was right first time, 8 inch round box uh, and the depth of it is, yeah just over four and a quarter so if you're interested you know I mean that just wipe off yeah nice sturdy box with a nice red ribbon then um, I found this at the charity shop as well what I liked about it was not only are these gold beads um, but look to have that dangling from a project and I love the way they've made it and they've made it with the um, filigree things that I do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to make one. And that's going to be the next video, something different. I do make things like that. I have got things like this on my website using filigree. But um, why not? Now, yes, I have to find my filigree. So let me get my jars. And I think that's the leafy one. Or just the oval one. So let's see what I've got here. In my jars. This is more like the jar I'm after. See, like this. So it's got the dangly bit on it. So I'm going to attempt that. Yes, I am. And we'll see how it goes. 
Now I do have a large collection. Sorry about that. I do have a large collection of beads. But I'm going to go with the seed bead thing at the moment and the pearly bit. And attach it with a wire. Now I do have gold and silver wire. I've just got to find where it is. I'm just going to use a silver wire because you'll be able, probably be able to see it better. I'm going to take quite a bit off. Now this does snap, so hopefully it won't snap while I'm using it. Where's my wire cutters? I broke my blue ones, I'm going to have to get some new ones. These are knackered. Okay, so we've got that and like I say, I'm going to decorate one of these. That's the right way. And show you how. So what I'm going to need... Uh, is one, two. I'm going to do same as that there, four large beads. So, and I might put crystals in it. Are those the same? Yep, yeah, they're the same. So what I'm going to start and do is go with the bottom section here. And I'm going to thread on a pearl. Now, hopefully you can see this. And then I'm going to put that back through the same hole because that's where we're going to start with this project. So make sure it's turned the right way like that and I'm going to twist like that. Okay. And then I'm going to come up on the side and we'll do it here. That's coming up from the bottom section. I'm just seeing what I can create.
did I need three or four? I mean four or five. No, I like that. That'll do. I'm going to cross it over to this side next. Now I feel it needs four there, so I'm going to bring that back out and put a fourth one in the bottom. This is more pointier, so that's probably why. Like that. And I do feel that needs pinning down, so I'm going to find a hole which is going to be there bring that through and then go back down that hole in there there's going to be a hole in there I can use and pin that down there they're all fastened down now but see well, that look lovely so I think what I'll do is I'll move away from those at the moment and let's go to a crystal, maybe. Now, have I got any tiny crystals? That's the thing. I've got those, though. I like the shape of those. Yes. They've got, like, a, a blue... And um, what do they call it to them? Um, petrol blue to them on one side and black on the other. So let's just have a look, see what we can do with these. Um, well, I need to fix a central thing and I've got my glue gun on and I've got my bling. Let me just see. No, it needs a, t a stone stone in it, doesn't it? Now, let me see. Oh, I know, I've just thought of something as well. See, when I made that one. I do share with you how to make these things. Now, I've got that. Let me just see what I'm going to do. I'm not sure. I could take that off, couldn't I? I need to get that off without breaking it. See if I can do it. Probably won't be able to, but there you go. These things happen and they can't be helped. Ooh, 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 just let me get that out. Yeah. 
Yes, I can do that, mate. Now, I'm going to clip the ring off the end because I don't need that on. And I'm going to, I think, no, that's too big. Well, that was a waste of time then, wasn't it? Oh, right. What about something like that? Oh, God, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I just wanted a coloured stone, that was all. Something with some colour in it. Let me just see. And I, although that's nice. It's nice. Right, has it got any holes in it that I can thread it through? Yes, it has. Okay. So I'm going to sit this here. In there like that. Now, if I get this right... I can put the, without gluing it in, I can actually weave it in. Right, hang on. It has to go through there. Where's the thing gone? Well, come here. Oh, you bugger. This is what I wish I had a proper, you know, um, enlargement glass thing. What do you call them? Magnifying glass. Because I'm really diff finding it difficult to see anything. But I want one I can, like on a stand that I can work under. If anybody knows where to get one from, I'd appreciate it. <clears throat> anyway, we've got that on there. So I now need to make sure that's level, do the same on the other side. No. Oh, Fee, come on. It's better. Thread that back through. Where is that going? Oh dear. I'm going to make sure that's level as well. Okay, so we've got that. Threaded that through on there. Now we're just going to sort out the bottom section. And I am sorry that it's turned out uh, not a, a coloured stone on top. I may be able to replace that one with a coloured stone. Join that together. Like that. And then go down between the holes there. And that's attached. That central piece. So it's not quite straight, but I can turn that. That's it. That's it. Pulled it into place. It's okay. See? Oh, it's going to be that way. Let me wipe that. My dirty fingerprints on it. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, do it. I don't, I'm not sure about these <coughs> at all. Um, let me see what I've got that's flat. And then we'd need one, two, three, four, maybe. Now this, I, I will glue on, but I would normally use the same way. I'm not going to have enough. I know that for a fact. But I'm just going to glue enough on for me to make that stick. For now, see, like that, uh, and then I'll wire it over later.
I just wanted to add a little touch of colour. See, like that's going to a nice touch of colour. Let me just see. Because that would fit in there. No, it's not what I'm looking for. Now, hang on. And glue these from the back. So I've found these teardrop, um, well, they're like eye shaped, um, flat beads. I just need to get that one to fit in with the other one. Like that. Right, now I like that. And I can glue that from the back, that's not a problem. Let me just see if we can find two. There's another one. Oh. Sorry, that was my sister. And I lost one of these out of it, so... Let me just see if I can... I'm going to put glossy accents on it, because it is a stronger glue. You know. Yeah, that will eventually stick and I'll need it. I'll glue the other ones from the back. <laughs> yeah. That will stick in there. Anyway, yeah, so, I mean, it's not perfect because I'm just trying to share it with you. But as you can see, you can decorate them up and make your own charms. All right, I'm just going to now twist that off. Twist it a fair bit. It'll twist itself off anyway. And then snip that and press that down. And it still leaves me with... Um, what I would do anyway is to cover that with felt. So let me just see if I've got a little bit of felt here. Hang on. <sighs> Pop this on using the hot glue. Oh, it's because it's been on too long. Okay, just swing that around, pop that on there, and then I can snip that out. to one side see and that's you know I can hang that up from there but it's just um, another way of doing something making use of what you've got you know I've turned that into that that's a bonus don't you thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now